Carl Hearn, and this is Tricky TV, where you will see lots of fantastic magic tricks and wicked wind-ups. And you can learn how to make magic things happen too. Tricky! On Tricky TV today, I get seriously stretched on a trip to the gym. Ah. Cards magically move under the cheeky girl's bums, and I don't touch the bum of either one. And what puts the wind up them? We'll find out in today's Wicked Wind-Up when I get into disguise as an angry postman. Get back to school! Yes, today's Tricky TV is looking mighty fine. But now have a little look at this. Look, take this handkerchief, I'm going to push it inside my hand like this, and as sure as eggs are eggs, it will be an egg. And if I were to take another handkerchief and push that into my hand like this, add a bit of magic, we can change the hanky into a ping pong ball. Now this, I think you'll agree, is a great trick. And here is how it worked on the crowd. And watch. Or blow. Keep your on the handkerchief, OK, look. I'm going to push it in my hand like this. How did you <laughs> How do you do that? Okay, keep your eye on the handkerchief. The handkerchief goes inside the hand. And obviously it doesn't go in the sleeve or anything like that. It just goes in the hand. And wave my hand over the handkerchief and it turns. It into my if you fancy doing this trick, then stick around, because later I'm going to show you how to do it. That's a good trick. Trick. I don't think so. Do you know, loads of people always say to me, they say, Stephen, you have got the body of an athlete. Isn't that right, Keith? <laughs> OK, thank you. No, I am speaking absolute rubbish. But I'm in this tracksuit and I'm inside this gym because apparently they've got a new piece of equipment that can get me in shape and make me all buff. <laughs> now, we've got some gymnasts over here. Hello. Hello. And we've got your instructor. Are you Catherine? I am. Hiya, Catherine. How are you doing? Fine, thanks. Good, good. Is this the machine? It is. Brilliant. So what do we need to do? OK, if you can undo the bolt on the side. OK. And just lower the front down to the floor. Right. Yeah. That's it. And if you step in and face me. OK. Yeah. OK, I'm going to lift this up. OK. And if you put your head in there, yeah. for me. OK. That's it. Yeah. And your hands inside. OK. There we go. OK, we're going to start with a warm up. So right. circles. Uh, yeah. And look up. Ugh. And down. Easy. <laughs> OK, we'll start with your hands. So down. Oh. 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 <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh. And back up. Yeah, please. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's hard. Well done. Now your head. What? Daddy, what are you doing? Ah! 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 And back up. Yeah, please. OK, now we need to warm up a bit more now. So look up. And down. OK, now you're going to go halfway and just bounce. Am I? OK. OK. Yeah. So go. And again. OK, and up. OK, good. Try and stay there, okay? Right. I don't know if I like this, you know. How do you do that? Okay. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave you on your own now. Right. So, show, you, show us what you can do. All right, then here so we go. So, three, two, one, go. And straight. Ooh, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bad for a beginner. Oh, is it good? Yeah. Are you impressed? I am. Okay. Oh. Well, well, that's done. it then, yeah? No. I see what you can do with your legs now. With what? Your legs. Oh, careful. Ah! <laughs> one. Oh, uh, yeah. And the other one? The other what? The other leg. How am I going to do that? Ah! Uh, ah! And <laughs> ah. stretch it that way. Oh, it's tricky! <laughs>
I'm here at a secret seaside location where star of Pirates of the Caribbean Johnny Depp has a house and so does Paul McCartney. Two other famous faces have a house here too and I definitely know they're in because I'm in it. And they are sitting down just here. It's the Cheeky Girls! <laughs> Hello. Hello! How are you? How are you? Right. OK, look, we've got some playing cards here, some tricky TV playing cards, oh. just ordinary cards, you can see that. Uh, what I want you to do for me, Gabriella, is just yes. uh, just count ten cards in my ten hand. Ten cards. Yeah, one, two, two three, three, four, four five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Perfect. We'll just check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely. Correct. Now, if you, if you give those cards to Monica... To Monica. That's it. Brilliant. And sit down on these. Sit down on them. Yeah, and, and put them under your cheeks. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Now, I can't get near them, can I? Definitely you can't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Otherwise... <laughs> OK, now, can you deal ten cards okay. on here as well? One, two... Three... Four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, ten. ten. OK, you can put the rest of the cards down there. That's great stuff. OK, okay. we can do You sit down on them as well. Great. There we go. <laughs> Keep them nice and warm. OK. <laughs> <laughs> now, OK. Look, there's three of us here. Yes. So, uh, so we'll use the number three. OK, watch this. Look, I'm going to take one card from you, throw it in the air and place it on your pile that you're sitting on. Did you see that one go? No. No, no, definitely okay. not. I'm going to take another one. Can you see this card? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to spin it up, it spins and it lands underneath. Yes, another card. No, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't. There's one more to go. Look, That's I take it. the next one. Look, it goes through the air and it lands on your palm under your chin. Now, you think I'm joking. <laughs> Slowly stand up for me and take the cards out. I yeah, take the, no joke, take the cards out. Okay, and deal them onto my hand. See if yeah. I. Because <laughs> seriously, if I've taken three away, you had ten, deal them onto my hand. I don't want to touch them. If you had ten, we've taken three away. One, two, three, three four, four, five, five six. six. Hey, look, look, Come look. On. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, we'll find out where they've gone. You hold it to them. I don't want to touch them. Slowly stand up. Take the cards. Take the cards. Have a look. <laughs> Have a look. Okay. And I don't want to touch them. You deal them. You had ten. So now you Let's did it. Check. Check. Okay. <laughs> you deal them with my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh my God. How did you do that? <laughs> Sally, I can't tell you that, but what I can say is thank you so much for letting us come. Oh, show, show us another three. Show, uh, oh, well, look, we haven't got time now, oh, but, but maybe I'll come, I'll come back. How about okay. it? Okay. There you are. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Girls on Tricky TV. Tricky <laughs> TV. Have you ever seen the illusion where the girl gets sawn in half? Well, if you have, don't worry, because I'm not going to do that one. Oh, no. I'm going to cut a guy in half. And this is Guy. You're right. Yep. Super. Now you can see his head there, and you can also see his feet down here. Will you wiggle your feet for us, Guy? Brilliant. Ow! Did that hurt? Yeah, it hurt a bit. Yeah? Not as much as this. A real sore. <laughs> now, for safety, for me, I'm going to put on my goggles. Watch. Here we go. I should do it. How are you feeling now, guy? A bit sore. A bit sore. Watch this. Ah, brilliant. Uh, can you still feel your feet? Uh, a bit numb. A bit numb. Ow! You'll be fine. That reminds me, it's now time for a break. So we will see you back after the break and we will tell you how we did this amazing illusion. We'll see you in a minute. Also coming up on Tricky TV, find out how to turn the hanky into an egg and join the secret circle. Why are these girls so freaked out by a parked car? Well, our hidden cameras reveal all in today's Wicked Wind Up. And get clued up on this con trick and you won't be fooled again in Beat the G. It's on its way. Tricky TV. Tricky TV. Welcome back to Tricky TV, where we've just saw Guy in a half, and he is totally cut up about that, aren't you, Guy? Yes, I am. Yes, he is. Look, his head and body are over there, and his feet and legs are over here, and he can still move his feet, can't you, Guy? Yep. Yeah. So what's the secret to this very cool illusion? Do you really want to know? OK. Look, these feet and legs don't actually belong to Guy. No, because his feet are still attached to his body, which is just here. Show us your feet, Guy. Thank you very much. So, whose feet are these? 
Huh? I'll show you. They belong to me old mate Ray. How about that? So, it's just a cleverly rehearsed illusion with two very clever tricksters. They are skillful. They are dedicated. They all have the same goal. To be the best young magicians in the world. Meet Belinda. She picks a coin at random, and what she does with it, you're not going to believe. And you must not try. Superb. There are a million and one ways that people will try and con you. But if you can spot some of the methods they use, then you will be able to beat the cheat. Right, the idea of this is you've got to keep your eye on the ball and you've got to keep your eye on the cup. The ball goes underneath the cup. All I'm going to ask you is where is the ball? Is the ball under the cup or is it in my pocket? Where do you think it is? Under the cup. Under the cup? No, it's not under the cup. It's actually inside my pocket. <laughs> yes. <laughs> keep it right. Look, it's easy. One ball, one cup, one pocket, one ball, one cup. Where is the ball? Under the cup or in my pocket? In your pocket. In my pocket, no, it's under the cup. Oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> right. One ball, one cup. Where is the ball? Is it under the cup or in my pocket? Cup. Under the cup? No, it's in my pocket. Come on, look, there's the ball, there's the cup. Where is the ball? Under the cup or in my pocket? In your pocket. No, it's under the cup! <laughs> what these people don't realise oh. is this is a cheat. So no matter which one they pick, they'll never get it right. Now, this seems easy enough to follow. The thing is, the cheat will always make sure that you're never right. And here's how it works. First thing you need to know is there's two balls all along. One ball is always under the cup, and the other ball, well, this one, is always inside the pocket. Now, let's take a closer look at the cup. First thing you need to see is there's a flap cut out the back. Now, when you add a bit of pressure to this flap, it will trap the ball in place, like that. And what about the pocket? Extra lining, you may think. Well, not even that complicated. You see, most trouser pockets have an extra bit just here. And that's where the ball goes. So the cheat can show you his pocket empty, or he can show that the ball is inside by just taking out from that extra bit. In fact, if you're wearing trousers now, have a look, have a little feel. OK, when you say the ball is under the cup, the cheat, you know what he's going to do? He's going to do that. And when you say the ball is inside the pocket, he's then going to do that. So you can never win. The customer is always wrong. And this is why you never see a cheat wearing tight trousers. <laughs> <laughs> but now you know the secret. You can beat the cheat. on here on Tricky TV, I did a trick that made people do this. How do you do that? When I did this. <laughs> I hope you like this trick. And now let me tell you the all important secret. First of all, let's take a look at the ping pong ball. Now it looks like an ordinary ping pong ball until I turn it round and you can see there's a hole in the back. And this is where the handkerchief goes. So first of all, you start off and you secretly hide the ping pong ball in your hand like that. And then you get your handkerchief and your friends think you're just pushing it inside your hand. In fact, you're pushing it into the ping pong ball like that. So keep your hand closed around the ping pong ball, push the handkerchief 
all the way into the hole, open out your hand, and your friends will think the handkerchief has transformed into the ping pong ball. Easy. But what about the egg? Well, believe it or not, the egg is the exact same. Look, there's just a hole in the back, just there. But how do you get all of the yolk out and make the hole in the shell? Well, you might think, well, you just crack a hole in the back. If you do that, chances are you'll crack the whole shell. So here is what I do, okay? You get your egg, normal egg, and you get yourself a fork, and you carefully tap a hole in the top like that, and you turn it over, and you tap a hole in the bottom like that, and then you just blow, watch. And all of the yolk comes out and goes all over our cameraman's shoe. Thanks, Stephen. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> And then what you need to do, <laughs> um, I'll wipe it off, don't worry. You then need to carefully and really carefully crack a bigger hole in the back like this. And once you've got it to that stage, put your fork down and then just take bits out of the back and get the hole big enough until it looks like that, all right? Now, here's a few tricky tips for you. Um, if you're worried about your friends noticing that you're holding something secret in your hand, um, you could always just wave the handkerchief around and that would distract them from whatever you're holding, either the ping pong ball or the egg. Um, if you're still worried, you could, um, you could actually hold the handkerchief in the hand that is hiding the object that you're gonna make appear. Um, if you're still worried, maybe just don't do the trick. So there you go. Now you know the secret, you are in the secret circle. And when you do this trick, your friends, I promise, will be ecstatic. Does this street look familiar to you? Maybe you live on one like it. Maybe you walk down one like it every day to go to school. Do you know there are streets like this everywhere? But appearances, well, they can be deceptive. This is Tricky Terrace, where the Tricky team is setting up a wicked wind-up. Now, just up from Tricky Terrace, there is a school, and Class 7 at this moment in time are in a technology lesson. Now, we've arranged with their teacher for the pupils to be sent out in pairs to do a survey of this street for what they think is a technology project. In fact, as they walk down this street, they're going to come over loads of items that we've rigged, like cars, when when they walk past them, the alarms go off as if by magic. Also, I'm really excited about this. Have a look. They'll pass this juncture box full of surprises. Then we've got a rubbish bin that isn't full of rubbish today. Oh, no. It's full of attitude. Bug off. OK, enough. Thank you. We've also got this uh, postman's bike that's stuffed full of important letters. And as they walk past this, that's when the magic will happen. Exactly. So how are they going to react? First, I'm off to makeup to adopt my latest disguise. Meet Postman Pratt, Alan Pratt. 35 years in the service and doesn't like anyone touching his bike. Do you, Alan? No, I don't. Back at Tricky Terrace, the pupils have been told to walk along the street taking a few steps at a time, then make observations. Their first stop was next to the bin. What have you done? <laughs> they weren't expecting that. Next, we fire off the junction box. <laughs> the girls have got no idea that we're watching their every move from our hidden cameras. Hysteria is definitely kicking in as they approach the parked cars. Just when they thought it was safe to go back along the street... <laughs> the girls are scared to walk past the bin again. And now the bike falls. I think you could say we got them on the run. Get back to school! After that, the fun just did not stop. Get back to school! Get back to school! What do you know? 
Look over the bike, Paul! <laughs> Quicker! No kissing on the way back to school. Now that was funny. Next time on Tricky TV, we attempt to transform this ordinary family car into something a lot more impressive in our big trick. We make people shriek their heads off with a little plastic spider. Ah! And we plan to stop the clock by making Big Ben disappear. Plus, we'll have the secret circle beat the cheat and a huge dollop of the unexpected. I'll see you next time on Tricky TV, but just before I disappear, take a look at some of the bits that didn't quite make it to the show. You'll soon work out why. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> inside the ball. <laughs> minutes inside the ball. You'll soon work out why. Bye. Oh, God. Bye for now. I'll see you very soon. On... <laughs> it's an unridable bike. <laughs> this bike. Get out. Trapped. <laughs>